Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another new concept in the React JS that is component composition. So, what is this component composition? Don't think about the composition API which is present in the Vue JS. So, this component composition is different thing. So, let's try to explore about this one. <coughs> In this video, we will learn about one essential principle concept that is which we need to focus on that is nothing but component composition. So it's a simple technique. So not a concept or anything. It's a simple technique. I will try to tell you. And the technique is called as a component com composition. Before talking about component com composition, let's see what happens when we simply use or include a component in another component in JSX. So normally this is the common thing which we will be used uh, commonly in our uh, scenarios like uh, we will create a component and we will use another component inside that component so this is general scenario right so there is nothing new in this one so before talking about the component composition so let's see the traditional way how we will be using the regular way and what is the problem we will be finding and how we can solve that one using the component communication let's see here so normally what i am trying to explain is we are create, we have created a component and we have included the another component inside that component so that's a pretty simple let's say here okay so let's say that example we have a model component so this is our model component function model and inside that component we have included a success component right so this is the this is a common thing there is nothing new in this one okay we have a model which displays a success message generally we can say that one is a success model okay which displays all the time a success message and we want to reuse the model component and also the success component which simply simple, simple renders a message and i want to reuse that model component and that when that model component just uh, displays the success component which is which, which which is simple renders a message here i have given the syntax for this success component also fine so we are showing this success component so here we are having a model component and here we are having a success component and i want to reuse this model component let's try to reuse this one and we just use the success component inside the model component and that's what we are doing most of our time with the components just we are using inside the component so this is the common concept and just we use the success component inside the model component so we are just using the success component inside a model component and we are doing most of the time with the like this only so just we are using a component inside another component However, when it comes to reusability, this creates a big problem. Okay, when now we are considering about making the model as a reusable, right? But it comes a big problem because the success component is really inside a model. They are deeply linked together. So that is the concept. <clears throat> we cannot reuse the model to show some other message other than the success message. It's true. So the model component has a success component deeply linked together. So whenever you are trying to show use that model component means the success component will be rendered. So they are deeply linked together. So we cannot reuse that model to show some other message other than the success message. For example, if you want to show an error message, we cannot show that one, right? In order to solve this one, we now bring the technique called as a component composition. So that is the technique. We can compose the model and success components together. So we can rewrite the model with a simple difference. So how we can rewrite this model component? Let's see here. I have written function model and I am taking the children as a props. So we already learned about the children concept and here I am showing the children. Fine. Now this component does not include a predefined component. So that is nothing but previously we have a predefined component that is a success component, right? Now this model component doesn't have a predefined component. Instead, it accepts children with a children prop. So just like we have learned before, if we get our success component again, okay so here now the model we are trying to call that model right and i am sending the component as a children so here in between the opening and closing tag of the model we are passing the success component so this is that means we are we are we are sending that one as a children and in the model we the component will be caught with the children property and in between this model we are showing the children property so this is nothing but a component composition in the first example, so which we are using the traditional way, so calling a success component inside the model, you know that success component is really ties to that model. We can call that model as a success model. Generally, we can call that one as a success model because we cannot use it anywhere other than the success. So that is common thing. 
But with the component composition, we simply passed the success component right into the model and composed them together. Now we can pass in any other component which makes the model component highly reusable. So now not only the success model, we can also pass any other component whichever we want it. So essentially when we do component composition, we can fill the slot with any other component. So in between that one children, so there will be any type, we can pass any type of component so that the model will try to display that data. So that is the concept which I want to explain. You. For example, let's say we need to display the model, but one that renders the error message. Well, that's pretty, that, that is pretty easy now. We just used the model component again, but this time we pass the error component as children. Fine, right? So that is pretty easy. Now we have, we can pass instead of success component, we can pass the error component inside the uh, model thing. And that will be ca caught with the children, children prop. And the children prop will directly display that error component. So that is pretty easy right now. So component composition is the technique by combining different components by using the children prop or by explicitly defining components as a props. So this is the definition of this component composition. So component composition is the technique by combining different components by using the children prop. We can also send the components by using a children prop or otherwise you can also define the component as a prop itself. So we can also send the component as a prop also. So that is one thing which I want to tell you. So these two ways you can send it. So now we can use component composition for two big reasons in two important situations. So now you may be getting doubt that where I can use this component composition. So that is the main thing, right? So well, I have understood about this component composition, but where I really knew this component composition concept will be really used for in our application. So normally in uh, two re in two important situations, this component composition will be very much useful. So first one is when you want to create highly reusable and flexible components such as the model. So now I have shown you the model component, right? Which is flexible right now. We can show any, we can show any type of message in the model component by passing the component as a children prop. So like that, if you want to create a highly reusable and a flexible component such as a model. So in that situation, we will be using this component composition. And the second situation is where we use the component composition is in order to fix a prop drilling. So the, here, this is also one another situation. So prop drilling means, so when you are having a component, so you want to send the prop to the deeper inside the components means then we can use this uh, prop drilling also okay so for this prop in this prop drilling scenario also we can you we will be using this component commission so this is great for creating the layouts so we'll try to see this one in a simple example after learning the concepts so i will do a simple example for this one so we'll try, try to learn about this concept also in the in, in, in this one so these two important situations where we'll using so in order to fix the prop drilling so sending the props to the deeper inside the components in order to fix that issue and also in order to make the highly, re highly reusable and flexible components, we will be using this component com composition. So this is, that's it about the component composition. So hope you understood about this one. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.